Hi, my name is Demoria and welcome to my channel. Today I am back with another wig review. It is a synthetic wig and I am going with a wig by Vivica Fox. I have never worn a Vivica Fox wig because I don't see a whole lot from Vivica Fox that I like. But this one intrigued me because it looks like it could be my natural hair. All right, so this is what the package looked like inside of the shipping package. It's a little crumpled and everything, but like I said, it's synthetic. Now, I can say this. I got this from houseofbeautyworld.com and I paid $40 for this wig. And like a few minutes after that, I went to a few other websites and I found it for like 20 something dollars. And those are the ones that I will put in the description box if you happen to be interested in this wig because I overpaid. I mean, I don't even know what it looks like, but for the simple fact that there's cheaper ones out here, the exact same wig, I overpaid and I'm mad about it. I tried sending it back. I tried to like cancel the order so I could order the other one and I couldn't. It was too late. Don't make the same mistake that I made. So anyway, let's pull it out and I will show you the stock card. And it comes with a bunch of them. My goodness gracious. Oh, look at this. This looks like what babies play with over their cribs. That's what Vivica does. The name of this wig is Winter and I ordered it in the color number two. It says stretchy elastic all over for extra comfort. And then the color you see on the stock cart is J99, which is really cute. It's like a, um, a light brown color. I kind of want this to look as natural as possible, so I just went with the dark brown. I wish they had it in a number four, just a plain number four, and I would have gotten that color, but they didn't, but it's okay. All right, so this is what it looks like. There is no lace to cut off. It is a full cap wig. There are no combs in the front. There are no combs in the back, but it does have an adjustable strap in the back. See, that's what the ventilation looks like. And that's what the top of the wig looks like. So it's gonna be pretty hot. I was hoping this would be something good for summer, but I got a feeling it's gonna be really hot on me. And then because there's no combs, I would definitely have to either put hair pins in or with my wig grip, which I already have that on. So hopefully that'll be enough. All right, moment of truth. What you guys love so much is whenever I take my scarf off and you guys see me in my ball cap. <laughs> I don't know why y'all like to see me looking crazy, but here I am. Here I am. Oh gosh. <laughs> I was thinking this was gonna be cute, but ooh, child, no. What are we doing? I'm gonna have to play around with this one. Mm. Oh, I thought this was just gonna be a throw and go. All right, let's see what we can do here. I'm having a hard time accepting the fact that I don't like this wig. Cause it's giving mullet vibes. It's really giving mullet vibes. Before I do anything else to it, I want you to see what it looks like. So I'll give you a 360. So of course this is the front. This is the left side. And the right side. And the back. Okay, so because I don't like the wig, I feel like I should just give it a one more effort. Just put a little more effort into it and cut it because I already don't like it. It's not like I like the wig and then I may ruin it. It's already messed up for me. So I'm going to cut a little bit off the back and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my final thoughts. Hopefully we, we make some improvements here, but we'll see. Okay, so I have on a plain white shirt so I can at least see the hair because it's really short in the top and then it's longer in the back which that's what's making it look crazy I think so if I can just kind of give it a little bit of shape I'm just gonna put rubber bands down here at the bottom to serve as a guide for where I cut and I'm just gonna chop it 
Okay, so I have one there. And I don't think this is going to be a great job, but <laughs> maybe it'll be an improvement. Maybe. Because otherwise, I don't think I would get any use out of this wig. Anyway, this is a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to cut below the band. I think it would be smarter to use hair scissors. Okay, so it looks like I cut maybe about two inches off. And it's, of course it's not an even cut, but maybe it'll help the shape of it. We'll see. Hmm, it did actually help a little bit. I got kind of like a V shape going on, but I think that's better. I think it's an improvement. Wow. Wow, I'm surprised it actually worked. guys so I am back with my wig cut and guess what I actually like it I think it turned out really cute it's not what I thought it would be it takes a lot of playing around with it and cutting it so if you're not really good with cutting wigs then I would say stay away from this wig unless you like that mullet look the thing I do like about it is that it does mimic natural hair the texture is really good it is hot like I thought it would be, but because the texture is so realistic, I would give this a six and a half out of 10 points if I had to rate it on a scale. And normally I don't do that, but because one being the cut, of course, because you see how much I struggle with it. The second reason would be because there is no parting space. It's a full wig. You can separate the hair to kind of give yourself a bit of a style, but it looks fake if you like get in real close because there's nothing there and I did kind of pull it back off of my hairline just a bit what may work is if you pull it back far enough and then pull some of your own edges out and do like maybe some baby hairs or something that might help it look a little more realistic but for my forehead <laughs> for the size of my forehead I'm just gonna leave it like this another thing is there are no combs in it I would suggest getting yourself a wig grip or using hairpins just to make sure it stays in place. I like to know it's not going to move. That's pretty much the reason why I would give it six and a half points out of ten, which I, I still think is a generous rating for this wig because I, I disliked it so much when I first tried it on, but now that I have it styled like this, now that I changed my clothes, it's cute. You know how us girls like to do sometimes, we just like to wear our natural hair, but then our natural hair won't cooperate. So this would be a good alternative. Would I purchase this wig again? I would. I wouldn't pay $40 for it. I'd pay maybe 25 or less for it. Like I said, I'll link the wig below the price that is the cheaper price, not the website I ordered mine from. So let me know what you think about this wig. This is the winter wig by Vivica Fox. If there's anything that you'd be interested in seeing, just hop in the comments and let me know and I'll give it a try. All right, guys, I enjoyed my time here with you. I hope you enjoyed it as well and I will see you in the next one. Talk to you later. <laughs>